In this new year, as we step closer and closer to 2023, there's five things I want to talk about today that will improve your spiritual life drastically. It will be a great improvement to you and your spiritual, personal, and emotional level with serving Christ. The reason why I want to discuss this today is because lots of people make different types of New Year resolutions, but one thing that a lot of people miss and sometimes just because it just flies past them but they miss the fact that their spiritual life also has to grow and so let's make these five resolutions for the new year together and the five just these five resolutions are going to be tips to improve your spiritual life and growing closer and closer with christ number one i want to talk to you guys about consistency now i know some of you do not like to hear this word because oh i have to be always consistent in my prayer life I always consistent in my bible well how about we start off with consistency to knowing that God is always with you. See, we tend to somehow stray away from the fact that God is always at our side. Jesus gives us this promise, he says, behold, I will be with you even till the end of the age. He will be with you always. Jesus says in another place, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. There's a reason for that. And a lot of times we forget that. So let's start to be consistent in knowing that Christ is always with us. The Holy Spirit is always there. He's an omnipresent God. Wherever you are, there he is also. This will first improve the fact that you know who God is and know that he's close to you. And second of all, it will make you stop falling into more of the temptations that you've been falling into in the previous year. Number two, for the second tip of this year, I want you guys to at least make a plan to read a book a month, a book from the Bible a month. Now, whether it's Genesis, Exodus, whatever it is, set yourself aside a plan. This month, I'm focusing on this book and just start going through the books. That means that you will get through about 12 books in the next year. Now, the reason why I'm saying a book a month, you might be able to do a lot more than just one book. But having that consistency, number one, and number two, reading that Bible plan reading of just like, hey, I'm going to make sure that I'm just spending time. And a lot of people do 365 day plans or something like that. But I'm just trying to narrow it down. Let's do one book. Start off from that level. I will read Genesis in January. I will read Exodus in February. Or I'll read Matthew in, J- in January. And just go on that kind of list. Make yourself a list, mental list or biblical list, and go from there. This will first instill the word of God into your life that will be able to grow you. Because guess what? God says it very clearly. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. There's so many attacks that are coming against Christians in 2022 and 2023. And I want you to be standing strong in this in these attacks in the face of the devil and say no you will not have your way because i have the word of god in my life this is why the word of god is given to you in the first place number three the third tip that i want to talk about is prayer now uh this is a tough one for a lot of people but i want to invite you guys into a life of prayer that jesus walked in jesus says that you can come to him at any moment of your day and just say god i'm here i want to talk to you and guess what he wants to talk to you back he wants to speak to you he wants to guide you in this new year and the only way that you're going to be able to listen to what he wants you to do is if you know his voice and that comes through first reading the bible and second prayer number four And this is one that's going to be amazing for a lot of people. And it's called fasting. I would love for you to step up in at least once a month, stepping into a fast, whether it's a day, a day fast, a three day fast, a four day fast, a seven day fast, or maybe some of you a 21 day fast. I will link a link below uh, because Pastor Vlad from Hungry Generation is doing a fast forward movement where he's doing a fast from January for, for the first 21 days of January. And it's a fast forward to speed you into the new year. And I believe that this can help many people. But set yourself into a goal. I will be fasting once every so, so often and start to actually fulfill those fasts. And guess what? Maybe one time you can only do half a day. The next time you'll be able to do a full day. Don't start to beat yourself up for what you cannot do. Start to encourage yourself in what you can do. Number five, and I believe that this is the most important one of this whole entire series because I believe that a thankful heart is a one that's going to be always successful. Start to be thankful in all of your ways. Thankful in your job, thankful in your schooling, thankful in your family, thankful wherever you go. Start being thankful for what you have and for what God has given you. As one of my favorite preachers says it, Thanksgiving is the key to mental health. When you're thankful, there's no way that something that's not as important will start to usher in the grief or something else. Because Thanksgiving is always constantly putting God 
above everything else in your life because you're thanking him for what he has done and you're constantly focused on those things that he has done in you and you are thankful for that so guys i want to bless you all for 2023 and i believe that these five tips will help you quite a lot as they have been helping me over the last few years i believe that this year can be your year where you're going to step out and start running with the lord even faster than you've ever done before there's people that are watching this videos that are going to step out and preach for the first time there's people that are going to watch this video they're going to step into intercession for the first time they're going to be raising families i believe in you guys so much and i thank god for each and every single one of you guys the ones that are people that have been supporting us in this journey as we've been walking through ministry and life and everything else you guys are such an amazing support system and i love you all so be blessed have a happy new year merry christmas for those of you that I didn't get to say merry christmas to you happy new year and may you start your year off in a great way be blessed